Well, today is, of course, Halloween, and our Jesus Martinez here. Boop. He was so brave. Right? <laughs> he was so brave, he traveled all the way to Mineola, Texas, where it's said that the entire downtown is haunted. We all do the fingers here. Just a little haunted. bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, just a little <laughs> bit haunted. And we ventured out to Mineola where we spoke to residents about their haunted Beckham Hotel. You Ghosts, ventured out by yourself. I ventured out. <laughs> Ghosts that are chickens. And we even today got to speak to a ghost. And now it's time to finally solve these mysteries and debunk anything out of the ordinary. Oh, man. Today we're in Mineola, Texas, home of about 5,000 people, also home to ghosts here in town. But don't let that derail you. Let's get right on track with these ghost stories here in Mineola. And in that time, a lot of people have died here. A time frame of 130 years where some guests have overstayed their time at the Beckham Hotel. People have fallen down, um, and a lot of people have taken their own life here. This hotel, according to Butler, has seen it all, including a woman who likes to go down the stairs greeting guests as they enter the lobby. There's a staircase that Elizabeth fell down, so she was right up here. She was coming down these steps, lost her footing. And there she went. And for our next stop, it wouldn't be visiting a small town without visiting an antique store like this one, and that one, and this one, and even that one. Many of which have ghost stories here in downtown Mineola. But one of them specifically, well, he has a tale to tell. I'm the manager of In Time Pass, Mineola, Texas. It's a fitting name for a ghostly adventure. For in times past and present, ghosts lurk around this town square. Until I moved in a two-story building on South Johnson Street, I saw the witnessing thing moving and, and, and heard something clucking, sound like chicken cluck, cluck, clucking. For a year, Lee says something would jump on his bed and start clucking. That's how I would talk, and the bed was moving. I, I looked, I couldn't see anything, but something was on my ankle. But what could this be? Sounds like a chicken, but hops on the bed? Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know for sure, but I felt like it was four steps, four legs and come lay down next to my leg. I figured that it might be my dog. He died about two years ago. Truly a man's best friend, and it's because of his companion that... I start believing in the ghost when they start coming to my building. And last but not least, the last stop of our tour here, many of all the haunted places, the OP Pile House. Let's take a look inside. Rumor has it this place is also haunted. It's haunted, it's haunted. We have um, documented, if you can, you know, say that. We've documented over um, 20 different hauntings. And we wanted to see if you can document something paranormal. At the, the house itself mm -hmm. has its own personality. Okay. You know, it, uh, it really... It and what also had personality was a cat trying to scare us. It's like all of the energies of collectively. Now that's a cat, so that's okay. Debunk that one. De Debunk that one. That's a little cat, but but you will hear boot steps all throughout the house. And not only will you hear ghosts, you may be able to feel them as well. Very distinctly her felt the third hand on the back of her wow. head beginning to help her wash her hair. It was Ooh. quite creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. But we couldn't leave quite yet without first talking to a ghost. This little guy seems to be a natural divining tool. He will swing one way or the other depending on the answers to questions that people might ask. Mm -hmm. David Aiken, are you with us now? If so, swing backward and forward. I'm, I don't know if if you mm -hmm. can detect it, but I'm I'm seeing um, almost like a a movement like this. A circle movement. Yes. Are you are you seeing it? Yeah. It's almost, um, and I would interpret that as being there's somebody here, but you haven't written, you, you, you haven't you haven't said my name. Mm. You know. Oof. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, a, a lot of thoughts here, but were you scared at all? I not gonna lie, I was, especially at the OP Pile House. That one was, That's out of all three eerie. of them, was the scariest one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, mm. I would have loved the lady giving head massages. I would have said, keep going. Oh, heck no. <laughs> no. <laughs> heck no. I love me a good head massage. I like, keep, ooh, keep going. <laughs> keep, matter of fact, go to the left. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> <But> the, <laughs> so who was the guy who said they would... 
That's how I'm gonna start talking right. to you, <laughs> yeah, <and> coach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Lee James. He's the owner of In Times Past, where In Times Past and Present yeah. goes look around Mineola. Um, so it's not a chicken. It was a his dog ghost <laughs> that was on his bed that was making <laughs> sounds. Yeah. Interesting, man. That that yeah. was pretty spooky. That was pretty Very. great. Great job Thank on you. that that's story. Awesome. Hey, suit. So